Working together through the NEIC, my colleagues and I have identified a number of priority issues we face as insurance markets continue to evolve. During regular conference calls, interim and national meetings, we'll focus our efforts to respond to these challenges. One emerging threat we must address is cybersecurity. Digital attacks are becoming more common, sophisticated, and costly. The NEIC is committed to developing a framework to keep policyholders' data safe as well as leading a coordinated response when data breaches occur. A long-standing project of the NEIC is the transition to principle-based reserving requirements for life insurers. We're currently working to enhance the methodology for calculating policy reserves, creating the reporting and regulatory review process, and developing the company experience reporting framework. In addition, we're working to provide state insurance departments and companies the tools they need for a smooth transition. Another area of focus in the life insurance sector is the use of captive reinsurance vehicles. We've studied the impacts of captive reinsurance transactions for XXX and AXXX businesses. We've implemented a short-term response while we work to develop a sustainable solution. Our next focus will be to consider variable annuity and long-term care captive reinsurance transactions. Health reform implementation remains a challenge for many states. Uncertainty in any insurance marketplace isn't good for companies or consumers. The NEIC continues to coordinate with federal agencies, Congress, and the White House on a number of outstanding issues related to health reform. Earlier this year, Congress created the National Association of Registered Agents and Brokers, or NARAP, to streamline the producer licensing process. We stand ready to coordinate with the President, industry representatives, and stakeholders as this new association takes shape. We're also at a critical time for coordination of our work internationally. Many large insurance companies are increasingly global, and our regulatory approach must also expand. With our federal colleagues and international counterparts, regulators are exploring capital standards and other regulatory methods for internationally active insurance groups. These key initiatives have been identified as our priorities for the year, but there's much more work being done through the many committees, working groups, and task force at the NEIC. I encourage you to follow our work by visiting the Committees and Activities section of NEIC.org. You can also follow key events in the Meetings and Events section. I hope you'll follow us on Facebook and Twitter to receive news updates and alerts.